Okay, here we have post-trib moment number 43, and here again you'll hear more lies. This seems to be very good at this. He's on the white horse to set up his millennial kingdom. And the Bible says that that is the time when the marriage of the Lamb is come. Now, those who believe in a pre-trib rapture, they teach, well, you know, during the, they believe that the rapture is going to happen before the tribulation and that we're going to be up in heaven for seven years uh, eating the marriage supper of the Lamb. You little liar. I don't teach that. If you maybe, I, I, I never heard anybody teach that before. Maybe there's somebody out there that he listened to that taught it, but I never heard that. And anybody that I've ever heard preach on the pre-trib rapture, nobody ever teaches that. Pre-trib rapture belief is that there will be a rapture before the tribulation, and then the saints go are caught up, the dead saints first, the living saints next, we meet each other in the clouds, and then we meet the Lord in the air. Okay, Then we go to be with the Lord, then we have the judgment seat of Christ. In that time period, while the time of Jacob's trouble is going on down here, we have the judgment seat of Christ up there. At the end of that time period, before we come back down, that is when the marriage happens. And I believe that there's actually some scripture that says that the supper, the marriage supper, is here on the earth. Okay, I can't get into all that right now. But it looks like that. That it's either right before we come down or right when we get down here. And the heavenly honeymoon is the millennial kingdom. Again, he doesn't know what he's even talking about. Let's continue. Or I've heard them say we're going to be honeymooning up there in heaven for seven years. Well, the Liar. The problem with that is that the Bible says that the marriage of the Lamb is come in Revelation 19, which is after the tribulation and after God has already poured out all his wrath. That's right. That's right. That's what I just got done saying, stupid. You know, yes, it comes after all of that. Duh. And the seven vials of his wrath have already been pointed out. He's already destroyed Babylon. And now here in chapter 19, he's saying the marriage of the Lamb is come. So how is that compatible with us eating the marriage supper of the Lamb up in heaven for seven years? So uh, some that believe in a preacher of rapture will say, well, according to Jewish custom. And whenever I hear them start talking about Jewish custom, I pretty much know that false doctrine is coming. Because uh, the Bible gives us everything we need to know about doctrine. We don't need to go to some Jewish rabbi to get doctrine. But they'll say, well, the Jewish custom is that they would have a seven-day feast before the wedding. So if the wedding is in chapter 19, they've already been having the seven-day feast, which they're basically saying that the seven-day feast is symbolic. Okay, I, I never even heard any of this stuff. I mean, this is just all absurd. You know, I mean, we're dealing in la-la land here. I never taught any of this, and I've never heard any of this stuff taught before. He's just coming up with anything he can to disprove the pre-trib rapture. Don't listen to this liar, okay? He's just going to lead you astray. He's going to take away the crown of righteousness from you because he's going to get your eyes off looking for Jesus Christ, and he's going to get you to look for the Antichrist.